Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I will install a new Rivco trailer hitch for the Honda Goldwing. Rivco model number GL1800 7-30. And that's for Goldwing models 2012 through 2017. The Rivco trailer hitch is made of a strong, lightweight billet aluminum. It attaches to the motorcycle at eight points. It has a maximum tongue weight of 60 pounds with a maximum tow weight of 600 pounds. So stay tuned to this video for the complete installation. Verify that you have the right model number. This would be the Rivco GL1800 7-30 for the 2012 or newer Honda Goldwing GL1800. Read through the instructions completely before attempting the installation. Lay out all of the pieces including the clear hardware bags labeled with numbers just to familiarize yourself with all of the parts that are included to complete your installation. If you do not have a motorcycle jack or a motorcycle lift table, place the Honda Goldwing on the center stand. I removed my seat, the painted side covers, the crash bar trim pieces, the crash bar themselves, the passenger floorboards, and I had to do this on the right and left side. Disconnect the negative terminal on your battery to prevent any short circuits or any electrical issues. I had to remove the rear fender and the rear turn signals to open up the rear of the Honda Goldwing to make the rear end more accessible. In order to gain access, I unbolted the muffler on the right and left side. This allowed me to lower the mufflers a few inches. I didn't have to remove the mufflers, but I needed to lower them. This was not in the instructions, but loosening the mufflers up just enough to bring it out a few inches made it easier for when it's time to install the main hitch frame. This given me the additional room I needed for working space. After removing the rear crash bar, remove the lower subframe mounting bolt. Once you remove the subframe mounting bolt, you have to drill out the threads with a 5 16 drill bit. I used a wooden stick to take pressure off of the lower subframe. In this portion of the video, I slid in the main hitch frame to the back of the gold wing in between the rear wheel above the mufflers. To assist in holding the main hitch frame, I used some Velcro and just tied it to the gold wing to help hold the main hitch frame until I can get it bolted to the gold wing.
Okay, here is what the M8 by 40 millimeter bolt looks like. It's gonna go into the right side of the gold wing through the threads that you drilled out. It's gonna go through the reinforcement plate. Once it come out the other side, it's gonna screw into the main hitch frame. You're not gonna use a locking nut on the main hitch frame on the right side, but you will use Loctite. On the left side of the gold wing, you wanna use that longest bolt that was in package one. It is the M8 50 millimeter bolt. It's gonna go through the bottom of the reinforcement plate, through the left lower subframe, and it's gonna go into the main hitch frame. Now on this main hitch frame, you don't have any threads inside of that hitch frame. But not to worry, you're going to take that longest bolt, feed it all the way through, and you're going to take the locking nut that was in bag one, and you're going to screw it on the 50 millimeter bolt. In this portion of the video, under the seat, on the left side is the upper subframe mounting bolt. I removed this bolt. It's also a good idea to remove cables out of your way. You can use a magnet or something to prevent the bolt from falling down into the Honda wormhole, never to be seen again. In this portion of the video, I install the left strut by placing it between the inner fender and the saddlebag. I used a long screwdriver to make an opening. Sometimes you may need to work the strut back and forth until you can get it to protrude through the top of the gold wing. The strut is made in such a way that it locks into place when it sits on the frame. Once into place, install the 5 16 by two and a quarter inch long bolts, washers and nuts from bag number two through the frame, subframe and the struts. Snug them only, do not tighten. Looking at the right side, it is basically the same as the left but the right side is more difficult and will require some twisting to get the struts into position. Be sure to take care not to pinch or cut any wire looms near the mounting holes. It would actually help to have another person guide the struts from the top to tell you how to maneuver the struts into place. Install the right strut to the upper inner main frame by removing the factory OEM bolt and replace with the 5 16th by two and quarter inch long bolt provided in bag number two. When the right strut is in position, you can feed the long bolt with the washers through the black subframe and the gray main frame. Snug it, but do not tighten. Now that you have the right and left strut into position, align the lower strut holes with the matting holes in the main hitch. The strut mounts outward of the tabs on the main frame. Install the 3 8 by one and a quarter inch long bolts, washers and nuts from bag number two. Repeat the exact same steps and process on the right side. In this portion of the video, Rivco recommends that you torque the upper main frame to the left strut between 26 and 28 foot pounds. Repeat the exact same process and steps for the right and left sides. After tightening and holding pressure to the lower left locking nut, torque the left reinforcement plate between 26 and 28 foot pounds. Remember to use Loctite on the lower right reinforcement plate, torque between 26 and 28 foot pounds. In this portion of the video, I reattach the crash bars by using the provided bolts from bag one, the M8 by 25 millimeter. They are both matching bolts. And the process is gonna be the same on the right and left side. I took those two bolts and reattach the rear crash bars over that reinforcement plate and tighten them both down to 26 to 28 foot pounds. And you wanna repeat the exact same process 
on both sides. Reattach the lower gray trim piece over the crash bar on the right and left side. I tighten both lower strut bolts securely between 35 and 38 foot pounds. I will be setting up the nuts and bolts from bag number three. The hardware is used to install the receiver block. Install the receiver block onto the main hitch frame by using the quarter by one and three fourths long bolt from the top down. Use flat washers and nylon nuts from bag number three. I tighten down the four bolts using an X pattern. Tighten the receiver block to the hitch main frame between 12 and 14 foot pounds. Install the tongue and hitch pin into the receiver. Next, remove the hitch pin and adjust the set screws on the top and the sides of the receiver block so that the tongue slides in and out snug, but do not rattle. These can be adjusted periodically as needed. Cut out the template from the instruction sheet as shown in the photo. Cut out the rectangular portion to the line. This is best done using a small grinder or a Dremel tool with a 1-8 router bit. Do not worry if you slightly go over the lines. Your lines are not perfectly straight. The trim will cover fairly large imperfections. Fit the trim into the opening with the seam centered at the bottom. Cut to the length using a razor blade or a sharp knife. Carefully use a small amount of super glue under the edge of the trim both inside and out as well as the seam. Being careful not to get it onto the visible portion of the outside of the fender. This is going to conclude the video of me installing the Rivco trailer hitch model number GL1800 7-30 for the 2012 through 2017 Honda Goldwing GL1800. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click on the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage and just showing you how I installed my Rivco hitch. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.